so you, you've interpreted this completely wrong, uh, Leo, most definitely. You know, this person's distance has nothing to do with how they feel about you in that way. Um, so let's talk. Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh my channel for some of you guys hope you guys are doing well hopefully that's shaken too much this is your general happy new year happy new year this is your general love reading for January. gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well feel free to jump ahead to the start like i said of the reading it is time of stand Okay, this section is really for those that just kind of far to uh, see me shuffle. Oh, no, Tam. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as it could be. Just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just so yeah let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side the person that you're dealing with here but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most and of course, if I don't, if, if I don't pick up your, on your reading, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, you can just stick around as sometimes there could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. Okay. All right. So there's something that you, there's things that are not being addressed, let's say, when it comes to this connection that you have with this person. You know, it's not being addressed. It's not being spoken about. You guys are not really touching on what needs to be touched on. You're not really addressing the real issues as to what's going on when it comes to this relationship this connection it's like whether it's this person or yourself or just maybe you're both contributing to not wanting to face whatever it is that is the real issue that's going on within this connection um and you're feeling a certain type of way about this you're not really feeling too good about this actually you, know, you feel like you'll, I would go so far as to say for some of you feel like you're kind of losing this person or losing this relationship, not going according to how you, you know, would like it to go or how you had planned for it to go. Because it seems like he was nurturing this relationship, he was given to this relationship. And that given doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, finances or um, it could be time or resources, just your, you know, advice, support in some way, shape or form you was given to this person um and you you kind of felt like he was nurturing it he was nurturing this relationship he was nurturing them um you, you felt good about it. it you played that type of role and you was acceptance of that but you're acknowledging that something's changed something's changed that could possibly yeah not even possibly something's definitely changed here that's kind of made you guys i don't want to use the word disconnect i don't feel like you've disconnected it's just this feeling of separation there's a, a a space between the both of you let's say that there's space between the both of you are you wanting for things to turn around ultimately you know you're, you're wanting things to turn around you're not seeing how how things are gonna you, you don't have clarity on that or even let me pull on you because again i said you both are contributing to not addressing or dealing with or wanting to yeah it's it's there's something what is it within this connection that you're both skirting around for some of you it's definitely skirting around it you're in thinking mode as much as you do what things to turn around you know in your favor as well but beneficial for both involved uh, you're not wanting to or you're not seeing you're, there's something you're not seeing and that's yeah, maybe you're just not seeing it. Maybe you're just not seeing what needs to be addressed. And that's why you're in this thinking mode. You've got into permit mode, deep introspection, asking yourself those important questions. Uh, Leah, 
software with your person, your person is there very much showing up. So if you've attempted to reach out to them, text them, message them, whatever the case may be, and they're not responding, uh, and if they are, it's not much of anything, is because they're in deep thinking as well. They're asking themselves those important questions. They're analyzing, processing, because there was they, they, were, they were very much drawn to you, very much drawn to you, highly attracted. But I feel like with that came this feeling of feeling caught up. I'm going to say caught up. Caught, caught up in some way, shape, or form. And I don't want to laugh because I feel like this is, is I feel like this person had, was quite shocked, even. There's a, a sense of being shocked. Um, maybe not even dealt with these types of emotions before, uh, these types, this type of situation, and it's caught them off guard. I would go so far as to say, because this is a very much attractive, strong attraction, strong draw towards you, but to have the eight there in their feeling position is it's it's got them caught up you know and again I remember i said to you shock this this realization that maybe i'm not i've not felt this before i've not experienced this type of these types of emotions before so you know as it stands this person is trying to pull on their strength to contain even i would say far as to say pull on their strength I'm going to clarify this though as well, but to possibly maintain that inner beast, that reckless side where they run, you know, and uh, see that the lovers, they got to be strong. I feel like this person has not experienced, and they've not reached, they've not evolved out of this fully just yet. Which, which is, which is, you know, you, you meet people where you meet them ultimately, but there is this definite realization around not experiencing these types of emotions with someone before so this is why you're feeling that distance where for you it's like okay you know we're both feeling this we're both on the same page i'm giving to this and nurturing this but this person is kind of backing off maybe or you're feeling a shit or you felt shit um in them you're not wanting to get caught up mentally and emotionally when it comes to this as well in the sense of you know, just based on where things are at the moment, you wanted to feel more grounded within your emotions, within your thoughts when it comes to this. And for them, you know, there's still that level of passion and desire. Like I said, this disconnect or this distance that you feel is not about, of course, yes, it's about how they feel about you, but it's not in that way. It's, it's, it's the fact that this, you know, it's like, how do I deal with this? What is this even? What is this? You know? They're wanting to do something different. So usually at this point, the reader will move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. I will be implementing that in a couple of weeks, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, you know, it's like you know, you've interpreted this person's actions in the wrong way. I feel like, again, it goes back to the center card. Not Things not being addressed, things not being dealt with. And I feel like that's coming from the fact that this person is not expressing their what's going on for them. And you're not expressing what's going on for you. So we're in this, you know, space, this space, but giving you insight into how this person is and why they've chosen to maybe slightly distance themselves is simply because they've not experienced these emotions before. They've not experienced this type of thing. If anything, I would go so far as to say, you know, they're still trying to process what this is. What is this? You know, trying to pull on their strength, like I said, regarding you. This intimacy that they have, this bond, I would even go so far as to say for some of you that they have, but still not reached that. We've got the set of seven of pentacles. So still not reached the point where they've accepted it fully or embraced it fully. It's that type of thing. Still in the process, the unfolding, I like to say. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you, so stay subscribed to my YouTube channel. I've done that, guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.